estoy llevando lo que es las aletas, mi sobo la aleta, usamos lámpara para, para alumbrar las cuevas oscuras donde está metida la langosta y el arpón para matar pescado, este es el arpón para matar pescado este, se pesca la langosta, se pesca el pulpo y, y con el arpón el pescado llevamos barreta para matar los tiones Well, this incredible sight that you see behind me is not the sunset, my friends. That is the sunrise. We're walking east to west right now along this beach in Oaxaca, Agua Blanca. And I think on a trip with so many incredible experiences, so many different kinds of environments and landscapes, this one is really going to knock us out of the ballpark here in Agua Blanca, Oaxaca. Uh, these gentlemen here are the divers that we're accompanying today. They dive up to 30 feet. It's a pressure that they say is part of our work, so that they've grown accustomed to maintaining their breath and maintaining essentially their, their calm. Vamos a agarrar langosta, vamos a agarrar ostiones, caracoles, y vamos a a encontrar algo de marisco primeramente Dios porque siempre tenemos fe a este lado de, 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 este, de, este, de estos terrenos. We're getting in the lancha on the boat here uh, with the friends from the beach. And we're going to meet the divers, um, you know, it's like half a mile down, going up the coast a bit. Looks like they started going down here. We're talking in an area about 14 feet deep. You gotta admire these guys' tenacity to be able to dive up and down with only basic tools to get to the catch. They can dive up to 30 feet in difficult, choppy water, low visibility, and sometimes they could even uh, attract a curious shark who might be attracted to the movement that they create underwater. These guys are such experts, locals say that their bodies have actually adapted to the intense underwater pressure that they experience on an almost daily basis. incredible to see the richness of the sea along Agua Blanca. In just a couple of hours, these fishermen caught scallops, sea snails, oysters, even some lobsters. And to them, it was a poor catch overall, but for me, it was heaven. It's so nice, it's so pretty. Out there, I mean, it's definitely rocky. <laughs> it's definitely rocky. If you're not used to being at sea like me for, you know, more than a, you know, half hour, one hour tour maybe, especially on a small, you know, 25 foot long, you know, motorboat, you know, definitely would require years of training like these guys have. El ostión, mira, este, este es el, la, el culito del ostión. Mm -hmm. Está. Te vas a pegar eso. Okay.
Well, from the seat of the table, uh, here we have the lobster cooked and ready to go. We use the same uh, shells from the oysters in the cayo, and it just looks amazing. I can't wait to dig in with uh, the rusos here, the divers. Had an amazing uh, meal here. I'm full of oysters, pulpo, lobster, and uh, now we're gonna chill out and enjoy the rest of the afternoon and the sunset. It's really so amazing how much you can learn about a place through its food. In Oaxaca City, I learned that traditional methods and ingredients are alive and well in the contemporary cuisine. I learned that mezcal is an entire universe of flavor, textures, and science. San Jose del Pacifico blew my brains in more ways than one. Coming down from the mountains, we went to Juchitan, an area of Oaxaca that I had never experienced. This is a place where people eat foods that are illegal in the rest of Mexico, but really defended there. From there, we went to a secluded piece of paradise that is a beach called Agua Blanca. We met a crew of divers with incredible talents who went out to sea and got us the freshest seafood that I had ever had in my life from the water to the table in just a couple of hours. And our final destination is this beach, Masunte. Here we stopped at a very special place, a sanctuary for endangered turtle species called the Mexican Turtle Center. Now, we're coming up on an incredible array of turtles in, in these water tanks. And uh, let's go check them out. They're so curious, wondering who we are. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, mister. He's a hunter. He's a hunter. Oh, you know what I mean? He was all whack. <laughs> <laughs> 